how do you treat a husband that always insults and belittles you? <laughs> always wants to be in control, extremely overprotective, especially with girls. Okay. Uh, there's no Islamic response to this. Uh, I'll, I'll tell you what I've come to understand. You are completely free to disagree with me. There are two kinds of relationships that Allah created between human beings. There are relationships in which you don't have a choice. They're called ulul arham. Meaning, you didn't pick your mom. You didn't pick your dad. You didn't pick your brother or your sister. That was chosen for you. Sometimes you look at your brother and your sister and you say, How are you my brother? <laughs> that happens. Because if, if this was a choice, you would be on the other side of the planet from this person. But they're connected to you by blood. Allah decided that. How is Abu Lahab, the uncle of the Prophet Wasallam? Only Allah knows. Blood connected them. Nothing else connects them, but blood connected them. You understand? Those are relationships in which you have no choice. Marriage is a relationship of what? Of choice. Two people come to a mutual agreement to live a dignified life and start a family together. And let me tell you the overarching principle. Every, every agreement that a human being enters into by choice, a human being has, to, has the right to leave by choice. But it has to be a sound decision. Allah did not condemn, if you're being abused in a relationship, Allah did not condemn you wanting to leave that relationship. I'm not encouraging anybody to get divorced, but I'm also not demonizing the institution either. Allah never once in His book criticized the institution. Never once. There are pages and pages on divorce in Baqarah. There's an entire surah called Surah Al-Talaq. Never once has it been condemned. Never once. You know, famous narration, إِنَّ أَبْغَضَ الْحَلَالِ عِنْدَ اللَّهِ الطلاق. That the most hated to Allah of all the permissible is divorce is actually by, by many muhaddithun a made up narration as extremely weak at best. And we teach that first, we teach the rest of the Quran on the subject later. Kalimatullahi al uliya. The word of Allah comes first. If, you, if, you, if anybody finds themselves in an abusive relationship, I don't say the solution is divorce, but I do say the solution is confrontation. Direct confrontation. This cannot go on. Abuse is not okay. Insults are not okay. No human being should live in indignation. Allah gave human beings dignity. Allah gave every human being dignity. If somebody's, somebody's being you know, abused by their wife, or somebody's being abused by their husband, those people, Allah has given them honor. Even a husband or a wife cannot take that away. A parent cannot take that away. Parents don't have the right to insult children. Allah didn't give them that right. We think Allah did. We think Allah just, وَبِلْ وَالِدَيْنِ إِحْسَانَ means do whatever you want with your kids. No. Do the, be the best you can be to your parents because parents, رَبَّيَانِ They ensured I grow well. How can you ensure somebody's growing well if you're abusing them, cursing them, belittling them, humiliating them? So this, you know, emotional abuse, whether it's silent or, or, or spoken in any relationship is unacceptable and should be confronted. It should be confronted and should be openly talked about. You know, it's a subject by itself. How do you deal with that sort of thing? But this is not an Islamic issue. More important than anything else, this is a counseling matter. You know, don't listen to me and say, you know, I know what to do in my marriage now. No, you don't. I don't know your situation. Your situation is your situation. You need to go, especially to seek counsel to fix this. When, when marriage problems happen, then you must seek hakama min ahlihi wa hakama min ahliha. Either people of good minds from his family and her family can get together. If you find everybody's crazy, and find somebody normal. Okay? Allah didn't say, Ahadam min ahlihi wa ahadam min ahliha. Get one person from her family, her chacha and his, his mamu, and get them to fight. No, 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 no. Because they're all crazy. So what you do then is you find someone reasonable that you can go to that is, that is sensitive to both sides and can arbitrate or can counsel and understand the situation. But yeah, and it would be irresponsible for me to tell you what to do in a setting like this one because every situation is so delicate and so unique and so much depends on it. Family's future, children's future, so much more depends on it. Okay.